Well, my little two before but twelve uh, um, team members, <laughs> we've got the. You've seen that already. You're not going to see the rest. Um, now, this is wood. I'm not a wood person. And we all know about axles. It's nothing special putting axles on a car. It's going to take nuts and bolts for, you know. So, hmm, how am I going to put... I am Mr. Nuts and Bolts, aren't I? I am Mr. Nuts and Bolts. And how can I get <coughs> my nuts and bolts into... We had a, a knife challenge, didn't we? And obviously, the handle had to be a nut and a bolt. Had to be a handle, didn't it? So that was sort of, yeah. And it was a case of refurbishing a clamp and painting it and making it look nice. But I sort of interpreted that as making a clamp, so out of nuts and bolts. So I ended up making a clamp, which actually I use it to, um, to hold my light, my filming light, my big light on. So it's coming useful anyway. But uh, obviously, me being Mr. Nuts and Bolts, I had to incorporate nuts and bolts, which is okay. Make something out of nuts and bolts. Make an, uh, um, make something, uh, make a nuts and bolt thing do a job for something else. Fine. How are we going to deal with this wood? Well, anyway, you've already seen, haven't you? I found myself a helmet which happens to fit quite nicely. Hmm, so I'm sure a lot of you would get plastic, would get a dome of wood. Would, there's just, you know, there's lots and lots of different ways you could put that on and that would be the head of the driver. You could put the head in there or, you know, make that sit there somehow, isn't it? But you know, I am Mr. Nuts and Bolts. So I had to use a nut, didn't I? <laughs> to use a nut and anyway i've been sort of thinking about it and let me just let me just put them put them in there and as it happened this nut fits in there quite nicely this this nut goes in there quite this nut fits in there quite nicely the right size and i sort of thought well hmm there's his nose look and there's his eyes and, and so that fits in there, so that could be his head. But now I've got to try and fix his head almost on a on a tripod or, you know, on a, fix that to the body of the, whilst it's sitting up like there. Now Debbie's promised she's going to do something to this, which is fine. But then ultimately, how do we get? So we've got the helmet and we've got the nut that's going to fit. Right, so there's his head, there's his eyes. So we've got to make him a... Uh, you, you couldn't just fit that there. How are you going to fit it? Obviously using nuts and bolts. So today... We... Oh, could be that. I wonder if... Uh, what are we going to do here? Which will then give him a neck and a connection point. How could we... How can we sit that on top of... Connect it with wood... Then obviously put the helmet on him and then do whatever we're going to do. Hmm. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's go down that path and see where it brings us. Well, it ended up, it ended up quite quick. Um, I thought that in there, that, that sits in there. You could force that in there, couldn't you? <clears throat> So if you could force it the other way, hmm, wasn't going to give you enough thing. I can imagine it working that way and making this stick out, but that wasn't going to, hmm. And by the time you force that in there, you've damaged this, or if you hammer that in there, you're going to struggle, aren't you? But anyway, that sort of gave me the idea of... Um, we want basically something like this, don't we? Force that in there, maybe. Hmm, well, turns out it's easier than that. What I can do now is jam the top of that there, look. Because we know it's going to go in the helmet that way. 
jam this in here and basically put a good thick washer on there screw that up make that tight but then just looking like that hmm uh, not so good but anyway i found a piece of cut off tube or whatever you know you save everything don't you? <laughs> you save everything and look at this it's fitted in not only fits over this tube to make him a neck which would have been there but because it goes inside there also it makes it a much more believable neck doesn't it so if i force this in there then put this slide this up inside there nicely and then this all we have to do is drill a hole in the wood a bit smaller than there and it would screw in wouldn't it and then we can then put the helmet on him then, can't we? Ooh, I thought. Because sometimes, you know, you can have an idea and you just can't find the right thing to do the job. And it happens to be I've just landed on the right thing. Force that in there. Um, put this in there, like that. He's got a little neck then, hasn't he? A little helmet's got a little height to sit on. <laughs> Every step you do is one step closer. I can't wait to reveal it to you. Um, so I'm trying to reveal it in bits and pieces. So what do you think I'm going to do next? How else am I going to incorporate my, my hobby, my passion? You could almost call it a religion, nuts and bolts. How am I going to incorporate that in the challenge mm, yeah and great it just makes you think you make sure you use what you've got it's not a case that oh i've decided i'm going to do this so that means i have to run off to the diy store and buy this and buy that use what you've got it makes you think about using what you got and uh, adapting it for the job you need it to do and it just gets the old and gray matter Gets the old grey matter going, doesn't it? Part of the fun, yeah. And, um, you know, and it upheld, upholds the, the obsession, the hobby, the religion of nuts and bolts. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, there's nothing you can't make the nuts and bolts won't get into you. Once these nuts and bolts of all sorts and shapes and sizes, once it gets under your skin, you're doomed. You're doomed, you're doomed. <laughs> My next operation involves getting this red hot uh, on the on the 4B2, but I've just realised something I've done previously to it and is now on it, without a word of a lie, involves petroleum. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work out. Is the whole thing just going to catch fire? I don't know. But anyway, my next move involves this flames and this getting red hot so um there's a little teaser for the next installment <laughs> well i've learned something very very interesting very very interesting hmm and of course i can't show you until it's done but a, a red hot nail what a red hot nail can do Interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. 